Hey, my name is Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Have you ever had a time limit on which you're allowed to collect bourbon? My brains are going into my feet! I had some this, uh, this past weekend. This was wrapping up my vacation. As you can see, I'm getting ready to head into work today, but you know, it was a great vacation. I was able to meet with a lot of great people, unplug from work for a little bit, totally relax. Uh, so I had a great, great time. I was able to not only bourbon hunt uh, outside of my area, but then I was able to have a, a couple hours in my area to hit uh, a few different stores. I think it was six stores total that I got to go through and check out. Had a good time with that. One of them was Friday night, uh, and the rest of them were Saturday morning before uh, my wife and my son and I had something to do. So I had a quick time limit. But I'm going to show you some videos of the stores, and at the end, I'll kind of show you some of the bottles that I picked up. So stay tuned. All right, hanging out at the whiskey shop in Columbus, Georgia, over here on Victory Drive. Let's see what they got inside. <laughs> See what Finley Company got inside. They've been doing some construction. Looks like they're finally fixing up that area in there that hit by a car.
here at Columbus Beverage Superstore. Let's see if we got anything inside. It's been a while since I pulled something nice out of here, but let's see. What we got. out of here at easy package let's see what they got inside their point system has been very helpful It's been a minute since she's been inside. Let's see uh, what kind of bottle and store pick she's got. <laughs>
out at one of my favorite places, Maple Party. Let's see what they got inside. <laughs> So after, you know, after I got back and, uh, from the lake house and getting the opportunity to hunt with Terrence and getting to meet the guys from Whiskey Wisdom, I had an opportunity to maybe hit a few of my local stores. And I was really pleasantly surprised by what was there. I actually see some extra bottles that I need to try to go pick up that I didn't expect to see. But I did pick up a few bottles while I was out, and I kind of wanted to share those with you and, and kind of get your thoughts on those. But let's see what the first bottle is here. The first bottle is someone that I'd never heard of before, and it's called Koval. Um, this is a rye finished in an Amburana cask. It's out of Chicago, which I thought was really interesting. Um, I was talking to Matt at Maple Party, and he says, Sean, he says, this is one of the better whiskeys I've had in a long time. And which is neat because it's an Amburana cask, which I really like, but it's also a rye. And it's coming in at 100 proof, which is maybe a little bit low on a proof point for me. But when someone that, you know, enjoys whiskey says, hey, this is worth a try, I said, man, I got to get this and, and kind of see what we got. So I was looking forward to that Koval, like I said, out of Chicago. Don't know anything about them, but I'll find something out about them soon as soon as I get to crack that bottle. Uh, the next one was was a real neat one, I thought, too. And this this one comes out of Las Vegas. And this is Smoke Wagon. This right here is a ride, a new ride that they do. This is their Blender Select. And it's coming in about 117.8 proof, right in that proof point that I like. Um, and this is also the first batch they did. This is a 1A. 
the first batch they've ever done of this. And this was done this earlier than May, May 30th of this year is when they actually started this. So this is a brand new product to market, um, hit a lot of different things. I, I find that I like not only bourbons, but I do like rye a lot too. And so this was right in my wheelhouse right there. Plus it's the first, uh, first of this that they've ever done this. So it's like, okay, so it hit a lot of bells and whistles for me. So look for this when you're out there. If you've tried it already, let me know what your thoughts are on it. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the next bottle is one that, you know, it, it's, I don't know, it's, I don't want to say it's controversial or anything, but you get mixed reviews on it. Um, it's the Elijah Craig B523. Um, this is age stated at 11 years, five months. Um, it's coming in at 124.2 proof. Um, I, some people really like it. Some people have said that they've heard it hasn't been that great. I'm a huge Elijah Craig fan, so I said, I want to get a hold of this and try it out. So I'm looking forward to this one, definitely. Um, I'll try it individually, and I've got so much different Elijah Craig around here. I'm sure I'll be doing an Elijah Craig blind before long. I definitely have to wait for a weekend uh, because when you start playing with 420 proof plus tastings, you uh, you got to make sure that you ain't going anywhere for a while. So looking forward to finding the Elijah Craig. Uh, and the last bottle is, is something that I actually picked up for somebody else. Um, it was the last bottle of the barrel that was there. Um, this is the Master Pick 15 year. Um, this is actually MGP juice, even though the back is labeled incorrectly. It's shown it was distilled in Kentucky. Um, and, and it was actually distilled in Indiana. Uh, and then it was shipped to Portland, Oregon to finish off there. Um, you know, met the guys from Whiskey Wisdom this past weekend. And I'm sorry, during the week. And, uh, Matt really liked this. And he says, Matt, I really like a bottle of this. And I said, you know what? It's the last one there. Let me pick this up. Uh, make sure that it, Matt has an opportunity for that. Great guys. I only met two of the three. I met Matt. And I met Brandon. Phenomenal guys. But I picked this up. I want to make sure that uh, this didn't go the way of the dodo bird. And, and Matt had an opportunity for it. But, you know, six different stores was able to pick up four different bottles that I thought were interesting. One, one for a uh, a blooming friendship uh, and three others, uh, you know, that I thought I would enjoy reviewing on the channel. I hope you guys have an amazing day. As of this morning, 734 subscribers. Uh, amazing. You guys would just keep growing this channel. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for keeping me in between the navigational beacons and, and giving me the comments and the feedback. You guys really helped correct me. Y'all have an amazing day. Thank you.